What is up, YouTube? Back in Madden 23, today we're going to be doing a Micah Parsons career simulation. Before we get into that, I want to say thanks to everyone that's been subscribing to the channel. If you like Madden rebuilds, Madden career simulations, you came to the right spot, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, say something down in the comments. Micah Parsons is in his second season, 23 years old, 88 overall with Superstar X Factor. For some reason, they don't have the sacks that he, he got last year in real life. He had 13 sacks as a rookie. He won Defensive Rookie of the Year, pretty sure. Yeah, so I don't know why they're not showing his stats on here. So we're going to have to take that into account for his entire career when it's all said and done. They have him as an outside linebacker here in the Cowboys defense. I'm going to go ahead and edit his position and move him to defensive end just to make sure that he has the most opportunities to get sacks regardless of whatever team he ends up on or if he even stays with Dallas. So I'm going to move him to right defensive end and make sure that he's starting there in the lineup. I put everything on auto as far as players getting re-signed, uh, what offense they play, who's starting, whatever. Everything is on auto, so we're, we're just going to follow Micah Parsons wherever he goes, see how he does each season, and see if he can break some records in the NFL. End of the first season, and the Cowboys actually made it to the playoffs, even though they had an 8-9 and record, which is crazy. Let's check out the stats for Micah Parsons and see what he did defensively. Looks like he had nine sacks, the second most on the team. 89 tackles, 24 TFLs. That's pretty freaking good. That's the most on the team. Nine sacks, one deflection, and he blocked a field goal here. One thing that I forgot to look at before I started was uh, look at his motivations or tags. For the player tags, says he's a day one starter. He will be placed above similar, similarly rated players on the depth chart. Teams are unlikely to draft a replacement for this player. He's also an award winner, so teams are more interested in this player during free agency. I simulated to the Super Bowl and they got knocked out, so they are not in the playoffs any longer. Let's check out the awards and see if he won anything. He came in seventh for Defensive Player of the Year. And the other thing he would be is Defensive Line. He came in seventh also on there. Beginning of the second season, technically his third season in his career, he is playing up to a 91 overall. His motivation and tags are the same still. End of the season, they ended up going 13-4 and and made it to the playoffs. They're the number one ranked offense. We're not concerned about that. I mean, we are because we want him to win Super Bowls, but ninth ranked defense, pretty good. Let's see the defensive stats here. Dang, he went off. He had... 17 and a half sacks, freaking amazing. 15 TFLs. What else we got? Two forced fumbles and 16 games, so he missed one game. About to check out the yearly awards and you see that they're not playing in the Super Bowl. It's Washington against the Chargers in the Super Bowl. Checking out the yearly awards, Jack Prescott won MVP. I saw Cowboys and I thought there was a chance that he won it, but I don't think that they're gonna give it to a, def a defensive player. Highly unlikely. Defensive player of the year, Micah Parsons won that. Best defensive lineman, Micah Parsons won that. Checking out the team real quick before the next season starts to see. It looks like they pretty much have all the same players except for this wide receiver, Myers. There's a new guy, but everyone else is all the same. Defensively, there's a lot of changes on here. They got Cleveland Farrell. They got a safety. It looks like they drafted another safety over here that doesn't look good that they probably drafted. A cornerback that they drafted but let's see Michael Parsons is playing up to a 96 overall and his tags are, are just award winner into the regular season they went 10 and 7 and made the playoffs again stats wise let's check out what he did on defense here looks like he had 15 and a half sacks and 20 TFLs pretty good season he had one catch allowed on him guess they had him playing coverage at one point and he actually played in all 17 games Looks like the Cowboys made it to the Super Bowl. Going to be playing against the Miami Dolphins, so we're definitely going to be checking that game out. Let's check out the awards real quick. MVP, he's not up there. Let's go to Defensive Player of the Year. He's uh, number five. Best defensive lineman. He came in third. Playing in the Super Bowl. Going to Super Sim it. Up 3-0 in the first. Still 3-0 in the second. Miami takes a 7-3 lead in the second quarter. Miami is up 14-3 in the second. 14-6. Offense ain't doing well for Dallas. Da Miami's up 21-9 in the fourth. 28-9. Dallas is losing 28-16 in the fourth. 31-16, 31-23. 
Dallas lost in the Super Bowl to the Miami Dolphins. Looking at the player stats from the Super Bowl game, uh, Michael Parsons had six tackles, two TFLs, and one sack. Beginning of season five in Michael Parsons' career, the offense is pretty much exactly the same, except for they drafted this right tackle to start on the offensive line. Defensively, this guy is a new guy, probably a, a rookie they drafted or something. This is definitely a rookie they drafted. He has hidden dev at safety. Defensive line is exactly the same. Michael Parsons is playing up to a 98 still with X Factor. And I'm gonna look at his contract and see if he got re-signed. Contract, it says that he's on a three-year deal for 22, 23, and 24.9 million. So they definitely re-signed him to a pretty big deal. End of the regular season, the Cowboys won the division with 11 and six record. Going to the playoffs yet again. Check out the stats here for Micah Parsons on defense. And it looks like he had 16 and a half sacks tied with Demarcus Lawrence for the most, but he did have 68 tackles and 23 TFLs, which is the most on the team. Did he have anything else over here? He had one uh, field goal blocked. That's, I think that's the second time that he did that. He's getting pretty good at doing that. Did not make it to the Super Bowl this year. It's the Falcons and the Chiefs. I'm going to check out the yearly awards here and see Dak Prescott, Prescott came in second. For MVP, I keep hoping that we're going to see Micah Parsons on there. He won Defensive Player of the Year for the second time in his career. And Best Defensive Lineman, he won that also for the second time in his career. Good season from him. Beginning of season number six in Micah Parsons' career, still got Dak Prescott and Zeke at running back. Still got CeeDee Lamb and Michael Gallup. They brought in DJ Moore at wide receivers and 92 overall. They got a new left guard here and a new right guard here. Dalton Schultz is up to X Factor. Defensively, they got Shaq Thompson playing two spots on linebacker. That's crazy looking. Obviously, that's not what's going to happen, but it looks funny. They got their safety has a superstar, Div. Michael Parsons is a 99 overall X Factor here. And he has, still just has the award winner tag on him. End of the regular season, the Cowboys went 13-4 and four to go to the playoffs and win the division once again. Stats wise, let's check out the defense. Michael Parsons had 18 and a half sacks. I think that's the most he's had so far. 70 tackles and nine TFLs. One pass deflection and no field goal blocks this time. Decided to look at the NFL leaders in sacks and he had the most by two and a half. Second most was Jeffrey Simmons with 16. TJ Watt had 15 and a half. Here at Super Bowl week, they lost again in the playoffs. It's gonna be Denver against Washington in the Super Bowl. Gonna check out the yearly awards here. Dak Prescott came in six. I keep on hoping that I'm gonna see Micah Parsons on MVP, but I guess they don't like to give it to the defensive players. Defensive player of the year went to Nick Bosa. Barely beat out Micah Parsons. And he's probably gonna win the defensive lineman too. Oh, he beat out Nick Boza at defensive lineman. All right, that don't make any sense, but at least he won the award. Beginning of season number seven in his career, they still have Dak and Zeke and CD Lamb. And off at the line is, uh, still have Tyron Smith. He's probably like 87 years old by now. They still got Biotish at center. Still got Dalton Schultz. Defensively, it's pretty much a whole new team. The only people that are still there is Van Der Esch, Gilmore, and Odigi Zua. And it looks like they lost to Marcus Lawrence, but Michael Parsons up to a 99 overall X Factor. We also have a award winner for his tag. Look at his contract real quick and see when he's going to become a free agent. At this point, he's 28 years old. So this is going to be the last year on the deal that he signed, and then he'll be a free agent, and he might go to another team, or he might stay with Dallas. End of the regular season, they went 13-4 and four to make the playoffs again as a wild card team this time. I'm going to come over here and check out the stats for the team and for, well, specifically defensive stats. For the one and only Michael Parsons. Holy, this guy went 24 sacks, 68 tackles, 17 TFLs, 24 sacks. Some dude named Isaiah Peters, a rookie defensive tackle, had 12 and a half sacks, helping him out on the in the middle of the defensive line. And he only played in 16 games, but he still had 24 sacks. That's got to be freaking insane. That's an NFL record for sacks in a season, I'm pretty sure. Let's go see if he led the NFL in sacks. I'm pretty sure that he did that too. What? Chase Young beat him by half a sack. This guy. <laughs> All right, well, I stand corrected. Chase Young 
has broken the record for most sacks in the season. Well, I was wrong again about Chase Young breaking the record because it looks like Miles Garrett had 33 sacks in the year 2025. I didn't even see that. Freaking insane. But here's Parsons tied for second with 24. Guess they don't even count the half a sack for Chase Young on that. That's kind of crazy. Here in the Super Bowl week, and it's the Bears and the Chiefs playing against each other. So the Cowboys did get knocked out in the playoffs. Gonna check out the yearly awards. Dak Prescott won MVP. Defensive player of the year. Micah Parsons beat out Chase Young on that, but that's good to see. Best defensive lineman, Micah Parsons won that too. So he's, at this point, he's stacking up a lot of awards. He's gonna be a free agent this year. His contract's up, so we'll see what team he goes to. Beginning of season number eight, and it appears he did re-sign with the Dallas Cowboys. He's up to a 99 overall with X Factor. Just go check out his contract real quick and see what kind of deal he did. So he did a four-year deal, total salary 72.9 million, and his total bonus was 74.9 million. So put those two together, he's over 140 million dollars for a four-year deal. Freaking insane. Looking at the rest of his team, he still has Dak at quarterback and Zeke at running back. We still got CD Lamb. This guy, C Bonds, I guess they maybe brought him in free agency. He's an 88 overall with X Factor already. Yeah, he's a free agent coming over from Houston. That's a big time pickup for the offense for them. Offensive line is completely different now besides Tyron Smith is still there, which is crazy because he's all falling apart in real life. Defensively, the only people they still have on the team from the original one is defensive tackle Odigi Zua and middle linebacker Vander Esch. They did get Antoine Winfield Jr. at safety. And so the defense is actually starting to get built up a little bit better now overall. They went 11-6, and six, won the division, made it to the playoffs yet again. Coming over here to check out the stats. I don't see his name on there. All right, so he had... 15 and a half sacks, pretty good season. 63 tackles, 17 TFLs, and nothing else. Looking at the entire NFL leaders in sacks, Nick Bosa led the league with 25 and a half. Miles Garrett had 20 and a half. Jeffrey Simmons had 17 and a half. And then Michael Parsons came in fourth with 15 and a half sacks. Here at Super Bowl week, they did make it to the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs, so he will be playing in his second Super Bowl in this career sim so far. Let's check out the defensive player of the year stats. He came in third, of course. Nick Bosa definitely deserved to win it with all the sacks that he had. Best defensive lineman, he came in second to Nick Bosa once again. Playing in the Super Bowl, jump up to a 7-0 lead. Kansas City scored at 7-3, 7-6. Dallas still winning 10-6 in the second. 17 to 6 in this third quarter still winning Dallas is winning 24 to 6 and 31 to 6 in the third going into the fourth 38 to 6 it's a blowout Kansas City can't stop them it's 45 to 13 is the final score yeah 45 to 13 is the final score Michael Parsons wins his first ever career Super Bowl second time that he's made it I was hoping that we were going to get to see him somewhere on here but they're not showing him anywhere. He's number 11. Guess they don't see him. He's literally the highest rated player on the team. And they're like, no, nah, we don't need you on the stage. <laughs> oh, there he is in the back corner on the left. I barely saw him at the very end. <laughs> Looking at the player stats for the game, Micah Parsons had six tackles. He had two and a half sacks to lead the team. And let's see if he had anything else. That's it. Still a pretty good uh, performance in the Super Bowl. Two and a half sacks. Beginning of season number nine in his career, they still have Dak Prescott at quarterback, but they lost Ezekiel Elliott. Somebody else came coming in to take over at running running back. This dude named Brian Williamson. Doesn't look like he's so great, but I guess we'll have to see how this season goes. They still got CeeDee Lamb. That guy Bonds is a 92. They have three receivers that are freaking insane. Off of the line is completely different now. Dalton Schultz is the only remainder at tight end. Defensively, Michael Parsons is up to a 99 overall still, and it still has X Factor. The rest of the team was completely different besides Van Der Esch still hanging on. So at this point, let's see how old he is. He is 30 years old. He's still gonna have a few, few more years on his contract since he just re-signed one. So yeah, he has three years left. See if they can uh, repeat as Super Bowl champs. End of the regular season, the Cowboys went 10 and seven. They did make the playoffs. They did not win the division, but they still got a shot at a Super Bowl this year. 
check out the season stats here defensively Michael Parsons had 22 sacks second best season of his career so far 71 tackles 15 tackles for loss anything else over here nothing all right let's go check out and see where he ranked in sacks with the entire NFL real quick 22 is a pretty solid number he might have led the the league yeah he led the league with 22 sacks Miles Garrett came in second with 19 and a half so there's a high chance that Michael Parsons is going to win defensive player of the year again here at Super Bowl week they didn't make it to the Super Bowl it's going to be the Bears against the Raiders let's check out the yearly awards no MVP contention for Micah Parsons. Defensive player of the year, Micah Parsons won that again. Best defensive lineman, yo, he won that again. Beginning of season number 10, they do still have Dak Prescott at quarterback. He's down to 82 overall, but it looks like they drafted a quarterback. He's probably gonna be replacing him pretty soon since he has hidden dev as a rookie. Defensively, the defense doesn't look too bad overall, I guess. Uh, middle linebacker is obviously a pretty weak spot, 68 overall. Michael Parsons is going down a little bit. He's a 98 overall. He was a 99. Let's look at his tags real quick and see. It still just says award winner, so I don't know like what the, all the tags are for defensive players. I mean, he's a 90, 98 overall X Factor, so you would think that we have like some insane like war daddy or freaking home record tag or something. I don't know, something crazy. But at this point, he is 31 years old. End of season number 10 for Michael Parsons, and they went 9-8 and eight and won the division. Let's go check out the stats for Michael Parsons on defense real quick. Looks like Dak Prescott still putting up pretty good numbers for being in the league 14 years. So defensively, he only had 11 and a half sacks. He got beat out by a defensive tackle. Defensive tackle getting 12 and a half sacks is a pretty good freaking year. Uh, he had one pass deflection, one catch catch allowed. He did block another field goal. I think that's like the third time. He played in all 17 games, and he still only had 11 and a half. So, I mean, it's still pretty good production, but it's pretty low compared to a bunch of the other seasons that he's had. Super Bowl week, it's going to be the Jaguars against the Falcons. So the Cowboys got knocked out in the playoffs. Let's go to Defensive Player of the Year. Michael Parsons came in third. I wasn't expecting him to win it since he didn't really get that many sacks. Defensive lineman, he didn't win that either. He came in third also, and his fellow teammate came in fourth. The beginning of season number 11, they still have Dak Prescott. He's an 81 overall. I just want to check out and see how he's 38 years old. So, yeah, he's probably going to be retiring pretty soon. The uh, quarterback they drafted does have star dev. He's a 75 overall. So, at least they have some type of plan in place to replace Dak. But running back's not looking good. He's a 72 overall. Offensive line and tight end, everything's completely different. The only, the only people still remaining is Dak and CeeDee Lamb from the original Cowboys. Defensively, everyone's gone now. Looks like they lost Van Der Esch, so Michael Parsons is the last player that's still on the team from the original defense. He's 32 years old, going into season number 11. And I think he's on the last year of the deal that he had signed earlier. Yeah, so he's on. he got one year, 33.6 million left. End of the regular season, the Cowboys went 15 and two. Looks like it's probably the best season that the Cowboys have had in this uh, career simulation so far. 15 wins is a lot. Uh, let's go check out the defensive stats here. Michael Parsons had, I see how many sacks he had. 19 and a half sacks, pretty good season there. 78 tackles. 24 tackles for loss. He had one pass deflection, allowed two catches, blocked two field goals. Dang. He should get a tag for that. Certified field goal blocker out here. Let's see where he stacks up in sacks with the rest of the NFL. 19.5 might just be the leader. 26.5 miles Garrett got the lead here. Michael Parsons came in second. Here at Super Bowl week, unfortunately, they didn't make it to the Super Bowl. It's going to be the Packers against the Browns. Defensive player of the year. Michael Parsons did win that for the NFC because Miles Garrett's in the AFC. It's the only reason why he won. Best defensive lineman. He won that too. So he won that best uh, defensive player of the year and defensive lineman multiple times now. I want to say probably four or five times. Here at the beginning of season number 12 for Michael Parsons, he did end up re-signing with the Cowboys. He's a 94 overall X Factor still. He's 33 years old. Let's go check out the contract that he did. It's probably going to be a pretty small contract. Two years, 28 million, 29 million. So basically 
over 60 million, but if you add up with the salary and the bonus, it's like 90 million. I don't know how that works. Checking out the rest of the team real quick. Dak Prescott's still on the team, a 77 overall. And this backup quarterback looks like he'll probably overtake him pretty soon. Still got CD Lamb, he's a 93 overall. And the rest of the defense looks like they drafted a linebacker that's got hit and dip. They got Nick Bolton coming over here in free agency. That defensive tackle that was uh, competing with them in sacks is a superstar of 85 overall. End of the regular season, the Cowboys went 10-7. and seven. They did make it to the playoffs. They came in second in the division. Scroll over here and check out the defensive stats for Michael Parsons. I'll see how many sacks he had. He had 15 and a half sacks, 80 tackles, 29 tackles for loss. That might be the most that he had in one season. He did allow one catch. He did not block any field goals. But well, let's go check out where he stacks up against the rest of the NFL with sacks. He did not lead the league in sacks. That was definitely Miles Garrett with 28 and a half. Miles Garrett is just freaking insane in Madden. Uh, see, Michael Parsons down here. He's at one, two, three, four, fifth in the league. Uh, 15 and a half sacks. Still pretty good though. We're at Super Bowl week. They didn't make it to the Super Bowl. It's the Bills against the Washington Commanders. Check out the yearly awards real quick. Defensive player of the year. He still won that? Dang, all right. I guess all those tackles for loss uh, make a big difference. And he won best defensive lineman too. Here we are at the beginning of season number 13, I think. They don't have Dak Prescott at quarterback anymore. This guy, Hutchinson, is finally going to get his chance to be the starter. They no longer have CeeDee Lamb. It looks like they have a pretty big weak spot at running back and uh, wide receiver too. They don't have Dalton Schultz at tight end anymore. Defensively... Uh, they still got Antoine Winfield Jr. He's all the way down to an 80. But uh, the guy that we're here for, Micah Parsons, 91 overall. So he's starting to regress some. 34 years old. So yeah, he's going into the 13th year of his career. He still has one year left on the deal that he signed a two-year deal. He still just has a award winner as player tag. End of the regular season, they went 7-10. and 10, So they did not make the playoffs for the first time in a long time. I'm not even sure. I don't remember if they made the playoffs or if they missed the playoffs before at all. But, yeah, their offense fell off pretty hard since uh, Dak Prescott retired and he was getting old anyway. So, go check out the defensive stats for Mr. Michael Parsons real quick. I see that he had 17 sacks. He had 71 tackles and 12 tackles for loss. Two pass deflections. He had allowed one catch. Played in 16 games. So, he missed one game with injury, apparently. See where he stacks up in for the... NFL sack leaders came in second to Miles Garrett once again who would have thought Miles Garrett still playing in his 16th year he's in 14 he did end up re-signing with the Cowboys yet again he's currently 35 years old let's check out his contract real quick and see what he did he signed a two-year deal for 29 mil and 31 mil checking out the rest of the team real quick they still got Hutchinson at quarterback we got Bonds at wide receiver, and it looks like they brought in Kyle Pitts at tight end, who's a 98 overall X-Factor, even though he's 33 years old going into his 14th year. The defense is looking pretty sketchy overall. The safety's not good. These linebackers are not good. These defensive linemen are iffy. But we'll see how they do. They're probably not going to make the playoffs again, if I had to guess. Well, I was wrong about the playoffs. They ended up going 12-5, and and it looks like they got a bye week, so they must have the best record in the NFC. So I was off and wrong by a lot. They had the fourth ranked offense. So the offense is coming through big for them. Let's check out the defensive stats here from Michael Parsons. I don't see him on here right now. He only had 12 sacks. So one of the worst years he's had in a while, but that's still pretty good. 61 tackles, 25 TFLs. Uh, let's see, he did allow one catch. Anything else? He got a safety. He's played in all 17 games. Let's check out the sack leaders and see where he stands. He's probably going to be pretty low on that list, if I had to guess. So the sack leader was this dude named Chris Agnew, had 22, and then Miles Garrett still playing at 20 sacks. Michael Parsons is way down here, starting to fall off pretty hard. Here at Super Bowl week, the Cowboys did not make it to the Super Bowl. It's going to be the Titans against the Buccaneers. Let's check out the yearly awards here. NFC, let's go to Defensive Player of the Year. Michael Parsons came in third. Surprised that he's that high, really. And Best Defensive Lineman, he came in second. Here at the beginning of num season number 15, the offense, they got Hutchinson. He jumped up to Superstar Dev because he had that crazy year, apparently. Still got Kyle Pitts. Defensively, 
We got Michael Parsons, 86 overall. He still has his X factor. He's 36 years old. He's going to be on the last year of his deal. Still just has an award winner tag, so I guess that that never changes, apparently. End of the regular season, the Cowboys went 9-8. and eight. They did not make the playoffs. Check out the season stats here. Defensively, I don't see him on there. All right, he had 16 sacks, 50, or 51 tackles, 9 TFLs, 16 sacks. He didn't get any blocked field goals or anything. He missed one game. He only played in 16, I saw. See where these 16 sacks stack up against the rest of the NFL. How come it's not showing him on there? What the heck? So he would be tied for first with 16, but for some reason, this game is glitching out and it's not showing him up there. Let's go back and double check. Yeah, 16. So he should be up there with tied for the most, but for whatever reason, it's not showing it. Checking out the yearly awards. We're going to defensive player of the year. He came in fourth. Defensive lineman of the year, he came in third. Part of season number 16 for Micah Parsons, he did end up re-signing with the Cowboys. He's an 85 overall, still has his X factor. At this point, he's 37 years old. Let's check out what his contract is looking like. So he signed a one-year deal for 27 million total. End of the regular season, the Cowboys went 11 and six and they did make the playoffs after missing the playoffs last season. Checking out the stats here. Let's go see what type of numbers that Michael Parsons put up. Sacks. He had 16 and a half, so he's still leading the team in sacks. He had 65 tackles and 20 tackles for loss. He did allow one catch. Played in all 17 games. And let's see if they're actually going to show his uh, uh, his sacks for the, the season over here with the rest of the NFL. So, yeah, now they're showing him. He led the league in 16 and a half, but he tied with Denzel Davis and Kayvon Thibodeau. Super Bowl week, they did not make it. It's the Bills against the Saints, so they got knocked out in the playoffs. Checking out the yearly awards. Let's go to Defensive Player of the Year. He did win that again. He's down to 83 overall, as you can see. Best defensive lineman, he won that again also. I'm guessing he's probably going to be retiring pretty soon because I think at this point he's like 38 years old. Checking out players that retired and Kyle Pitts did retire from the Cowboys after 16 years, but Michael Parsons said he ain't done yet. He's going to keep running for another Super Bowl chance. Start of season number 17 in Michael Parsons' career and at this point he's 82 overall. He has dropped all the way down to normal dev. He's 38 years old. Let's see the deal that he signed real quick. It's probably just a one-year deal. Yeah, one year, 16.7 million. It says that his total total salary is 20.3 million. I wanted to check out his uh, player tag real quick and see. He still has a award winner, but now he also has mentor. Teams are more interested in this player during free agency. Boost weekly training XP for other players at their position. End of the regular season, the Cowboys went eight and nine, missed the playoffs. Most likely going to be Michael Parsons' last season, if I had to guess. I'd be surprised if he comes back at this point. At the same time, it wouldn't surprise me, I guess. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What what did he do? 19 and a half sacks. Dang. 57 tackles, 15 TFLs, 19 and a half sacks. Only played in 16 games, so he missed one game. Let's see where his 19 and a half sacks stacks up against the rest of the NFL. And once again, they're not showing him up here. I don't know why, but he would have had the most because the most they're showing right now is 17. Checking out the yearly awards. Let's roll over here to Defensive Player of the Year. And Michael Parsons did win that, even though he's all the way down to an 80 overall. Best defensive lineman, he won that also. Checking out the retired players. And Michael Parsons has finally retired after 17 years in the NFL. Looking at Michael Parsons' legacy uh, score, he's second and right in with 45,356 to Miles Garrett. That's just at the right end position. Left end, Chase Young has the most of 24,000. Go see what it is all time against everything. Michael Parsons, so Miles Garrett is number one, Patrick Mahomes is number two, Joe Burrow, and then Michael Parsons here at number four. Tom Brady's all the way down here at number seven. I don't believe that. But let's see where's Parsons at. So he had one Super Bowl win. He made it to NFC Championship game twice. And he won 33 freaking yearly awards. Way more than Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett only won 28 awards. NFL record for career sack leaders. Miles Garrett got that with 306. 
Michael Parsons comes in second with 266, but we do have to add 13 sacks to get him to 279 because for some reason it's not showing what his rookie uh, sacks were. So technically he has 279, but he's still going to be second to Miles Garrett. And in one season, what did he do? Defensive sacks. Miles Garrett had the top three with 33, 28, 26. Miles Garrett was just a beast in here, but Michael Parsons here with his 24. I think he had a 22 sack season also. I'm not sure. We'll have to check that up. Uh, most sacks in the uh, game. Did he make it on that list? Derek Thomas still at the top with that with seven. Miles Garrett had six. But yeah, Michael Parsons is not on this list. 39 years old. Played in the league 17 years. He's still at 80 overall. Check out his season uh, stats here one by one. He had 19 and a half his last year. So he had over 10 sacks every single season except for his second year. And like I said, he had 13 sacks his rookie year, but for some reason it's not showing that. But he had a 24 sack season and a 22 sack season. So yeah, he was just out here going crazy. The most he ever had was 24 and then 22. Looking at his awards over his career, he went to the Pro Bowl 14 times. I guess he won Defensive Player of the Week one time in Week 3 of some season. He was a league leader in sacks four times. He won Defensive Rookie of the Year. We saw that in real life. He won def Best Defensive Lineman. Uh, they just have it all jumbled up here. It's not even like sorted by year, and there's no way to sort it. But he won Best Defensive Lineman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times in his career. That's a freaking lot. And then he won Defensive Player of the Year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. So I say that's probably, well, that's definitely a Hall of Fame career right there. So Michael Parsons is going to the Hall of Fame for sure in this career simulation. That's going to be it for the video. If you want to see more content like this, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Say something in the comments. I'll see you on the next one. Appreciate it. Peace.